Well, well, well. So Auguste finally dropped today. I wanted to do a couple of pulls just to try my luck and looks like I did get a little bit lucky. I've seen he does a crap ton of AoE damage, he's got a nice skill that swaps three times, so let's get you up to 60, let's get you up to speed. Uh, skill wise, shield break, I don't think we care about this one, we might start with knightly spirit, but again, I don't think we're going to use either of these. Uh, rank 3, first choice. When performing an active attack, additional piercing damage equal to 50% current HP of the target. Character recovers 10% HP up to one time per round, but it can be triggered simultaneously upon hitting multiple targets. That's an extra AoE on top of the AoE damage he deals. Otherwise, he can get two stacks of rage and he's going to need six for the extra turn plus a physical shield equal to physical and magical attack, plus damage reduction 2 and damage 2. For damage, I would definitely want to pick Warm Touch. Hustle feels like a little bit more of a supportive skill, but it does increase the stacks. Uh, let's pick Hustle right now. Afterwards, I would likely come back and use a Castalia to get Warm Touch as well. Rank 5. There's Contempt in here, damage taken decreased by 15% when attack gain one stack of rage. Absolutely going with this one. But yeah, no, this is only when attacked, and he doesn't have any way to draw aggro. He just needs to be basically stay alone in the front line. Attack command, 12% attack for all allies within two tiles, or 90% OE damage and heal block for two turns. On a 3 turn cooldown, this is the same skill that Stormbreaker has. Honestly, kind of tempted to pick Attack Command, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use either of these skills. As he should have enough AoE damage by himself. This one might be useful only for the heal block. Ah, let's pick the heal block, because you never know. Rank 9, basic attack, we go with extermination. Honestly, kind of crazy that he burns energy on the enemies as well. And rank 11. And of course, in here we go with the Devastation, the massive AoE. 90% damage to all enemies in a 3x4 area. Dispels 2 buffs before attacking. When he is in rage outburst, also 50% chance to stun. AoE stun. Okay, did we actually go full wrath? Yeah, we actually went full Wrath. Slot in Extermination, of course we keep Red Swift. Uh, Nightly Spirit swaps for Devastation. And yeah, I guess we're keeping Hustle as the last one. Physical damage, instant charges at one enemy, cross shape, 40% damage, knocked back by one tile, switches to Wrath Snap, and remains for two turns. 80% damage, 3x2, physical defense down, then switches to Wrath Scorch for two turn afterwards. Honestly crazy to see a skill with a double switch. But what can you do for your gear? Ooh, axes. Target HP percentage lower than the attacker, increase attack by 15% and recovers 20% HP. I still don't have this one maxed out though. But yeah, I think he should be picking the Feast Axe. Yes, this one is just 10% defense, little bit of extra attack based on defense, 5% physical attack, one dispel, and I never got in a second copy. 10% HP, ignores defense. Might want to try this one out on him as well. Is charging, he only has one skill that charges, and that skill only deals like 40% attack as damage. So as much as it pains me, I'm afraid he's going to get Ravia's gear to disrupt and something with very high physical attack from here. The one from Gloria I'm not going to touch, <laughs> absolutely not going to touch. Uh, let's swap this one out from Cole, see how high these stats go. Because we are at 2.6k but he's still at 1 star. Oh, speaking of stars, ignore block, standby, 1 stack of rage up to 6, when having 6 stacks of rage, after using a skill or basic attack, removes all to gain, act again, and rage outburst 1. 2% attack per stack, up to 6 stacks, so 18% attack from here. 
as well as 40% magic attack to physical attack. Two stars at the start of battle also gain two stacks of rage, recovers one energy and gets rage outburst two at three stars. 70% magical attack to physical? Jesus Christ, dude. Okay, yeah, no, just like Safi, this one has to go to three stars immediately. Four stacks of rage at battle start at level 4, so he can use the little shield, go up to 6 and immediately get act again and rage outburst on turn 1. And the last one is just rage outburst 3, which also gives him armor piercing. Yeah, that's a top tier DPS alright, and looks like he's going to have to go up to 5 stars as fast as possible. Yeah, we're going with Gloria Auguste basically everywhere at this point. That's pretty small though, only charges 2 tiles. Okay, that's the first skill. This is the switch. 85% damage, physical defense down. And the extra movement, we can go get our next turn here. And this is now the third skill. Uh, one target plus adjacent ones. 160% damage? And 80% damage to all other enemies within one tile. Plus knockback. Is the knockback? Oh, the knockback is on the side. First time we see something with a side knockback like this. Feels a little bit like a blast attack from Star Rail. Really, really big fan of this one. <laughs> okay, so he was attacked, he took damage. What are your stats looking like? Six. So this is the turn in which he's going to get the extra action. But he has no mana. Heal. Hustle. The shield. There's the rage outburst. And that's the second turn. I do like the fact that he can get a shield by himself. That does help a lot with survivability. Well, that and the extra heal from the weapon. Because when it comes to killing people, yeah, that should be pretty easy for him. Okay, 2.6. There's your max rank, 2, 7, and 92. Still has some room to grow. Well, Ravia was in the 2.9 early, but Ravia is also up to 4 stars here. Uh, either this or something like this. 8% physical, 8% magical. I uh, don't think I care for some extra healing. He's got the shield already. Uh, I guess Origin Heart class is also going to be fine. Increases both physical and magical attack. Or, you know, Maverick Cloak. No allies within 4 means he cannot be under range for being healed though. Because the only thing he's got to survive by himself is this little shield. Wait, speed is 209? And Homa is 210. Yeah, they're definitely doing it on purpose. Uh, engraving has to be sword plus cup. In percent max HP. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, if I can't get high physical attack and magic attack, I guess I'm keeping the 15% HP. Okay, since it's going to take a bit too long to unlock anything that poses a challenge here, let's go try this in the far side chat. Because I still have the stage 4 to do with the damage dealing Samantha. Any enemy unit with more buffs than its target, 100% chance to land a critical hit, ignores 30% of the defense and steals 3 buffs from the target after the attack. So we want to try and spam buffs while also debuffing the opponent. Uh, resolve, 70% HP, 3 energy. Now hear me out. Auguste does not ignore <laughs> Resolve. Stormbreaker does. So at least in this case, again, one, maybe one case in the entire game, but at least in this case, I think I would actually still prefer Stormbreaker to Augusta. <laughs> We're still going to bring him, because we have to try him out. But at the same time, just putting my hands forward, this stage would be a little bit easier if we brought Stormbreaker instead of Augusta. <laughs> 
uh, when it comes to starting, I think we're going to do the same thing with Mefa right in front of this guy. Afia here. Gloria, Samantha, and Augusta. Okay, let's start. And flick the needle defense down. Take down the pillar. As for you, I think I might want to start just with the shield. Uh, start with the shield and wait for the OE. Yeah, second wave doesn't engage quite yet. And I want to see if I can get the stun off. We didn't really deal damage, so this is fine. Take this one out. Let's do the first AoE here. And the second one here. Okay, now these guys don't have a target. Maybe there? Okay, and pray that she's going to use the Whip of Bane on the Hangman rather than Safi herself. That's the first one. And that's the second. Fantastic. But now that these have both used their whips, Down goes the first one. And yeah, no, they are definitely getting way too many buffs. There's no how the hell are they dealing this much damage? AoE goes on empty. And thankfully she doesn't manage to one-shot absolutely everyone. Okay, so... We need to be very wary of these. Uh, what's your energy looking like? Two. He's going to get a third one. I guess you can use Rat Swift on the next turn, so let's just give you energy. Then speed, plus energy. And now you can go invulnerable and try and deal a little bit of damage. Uh, this way we also get to see what the... Invulnerability for up attack skill looks like. Mm. Yes, yeah, he's right in the middle of everyone. As for you, maybe over here. Just in case someone decides not to hit him. Okay, it's just a quick strike. Uh, 
ちをお導きください。An over secret sanctuary. And now we need to go take down the other looks like pillar and basically clear the entire second way. You got three turns to do it, which should be plenty possible. Down goes the first one. Leggy. As for you, yeah, that's a lot missing for the AoE. You can go up to six stacks again, though. This should work. I'm over here. Shield goes up to six, gets an extra turn. Nice. As for you, either I keep going on the judge or I try and take her down. Let's try taking her down first, see if it works. Nah, she's got way too much HP. Go so pillar first. Okay, cool, they're spreading their damage around. And we still have three more turns with a lot of AoE damage on our side. Uh, no real need to cast anything outside of maybe buffing. Mm. That is fine. Yeah, looks like he's got some energy problems though. Like, damage is absolutely insane. But maybe he spams skills a bit too much, so he's got a little bit of an energy issue. Okay, first elite down. Only one left to go. This one hurts, but thankfully doesn't kill. Alright, so, three more units. Let's get some AoE damage down. As for you, yeah, two energy for the charge, but that's the only two energy he's got. Looks like he's very, very hungry for energy. Might actually be one of those units for whom you really, really want to run the Urgent Order in here. Basically give him another two energy every single turn. But yeah, let's sit this one out. Minus one energy. <laughs> As for you, let's see if we can take out this one. Ah, no UE damage, that's too bad. And we're down to two. Round 8, but we should be more than able to take her down now. Another AoE. And that's the last shot. With the little charge. I do like the unit. I do like the amount of damage he brings. But at the same time, very, very energy hungry. 
All right then, I guess that's going to be it for me for the moment. Really hope to get a lot more Ravia axes, cause this one needs to go back on her. So as always, thanks a lot for watching, good luck with your pools if you want to pick Auguste up, and see you guys around soon. Ciao! Oh, see you.